Okay, good morning YouTubers. Yes, I can't do a rave party too loud because I've got my, my new nephew over here. He's only a little baby and I don't want to uh, disturb the little child. So, you know, because the noise might frighten the living daylights out of him. So the last thing I want to do is, is upset the little baby. So hopefully I'll keep this down to a dull roar and, and play some music for for all those jilted copier professionals out there who have no, who don't think they've got a future, and of course we'll also dedicate it to the copier industry as we know it, the ones who really don't want us ex copier professionals, the ones who really wanted to make a, a better copier, who wanted to build a self guided photocopier. Oh well, the thing is we have to declare you guys, you normal people, you neurotypicals. Well, most of us have Asperger's syndrome, and most of us are on the the cyber trash pile, but hey, you know, it's all fair in love and war, they say, isn't it? You know, there'll always be victors, there'll always be losers. We are the losers for now, but I'll tell you one thing, I won't give up. And you want to know what, you want to know that there is hope for the nerds and the geeks? There was an article in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, a newsletter called Copier Careers last year, I think it was September. Very odd, but someone said, the nerds will inherit the copier world. Hmm. Well, let's see if that comes true. Right, so now, but I believe it will be true, but it won't be much left of the copier world, and it might have to be done through some rich person, who, some copier dude who's running an independent dealership who saved up plenty of money, worked very hard, because it won't come through the same revolution that was started in the 90s where we were allowed in the industry and the love was flowing smooth and the techno was raving and unity was promised, the internet was a nice place, there was, you know, the, the world was more human, technology wasn't so abhorrent, everything was cool until the short circuit occurred. Oh, blast. But oh, well, short circuits happen, don't they? It's all fair in, in machines, in the machine world. Faults happen, but sometimes people like to overload machines and we feel a bit overloaded and a bit clipped as well. You know, we've overloaded because we don't, you know, we do things that we're not designed to do, but we're also clipped. Or we're, over, you know, we're clipped because our dreams are being cut in half. We're not allowed to have fun and imagine having fun in the copier world. We have, we're told to be normal. So overloaded and clipped. Isn't that really nice? Well, put yourselves in the frame. How does that feel? You know, to be made to do tasks that are too hard and then to take your dreams and, and squash them down and compress them. <gasps> no. Let's play some music anyway, just to keep the... Just keep the party happy, okay? The song is called Can't Stop Raving. So who remembers the rave parties, guys? Now, as I said, I can't play this music too loud because my I've got a little baby in this house. So I've, I've caused enough disharmony as it is. So I'm going to have to keep this down on a fairly dull roar. All right, this is not too loud. Okay, copier industry. This is from the 90s. This is when the, we were still having fun. The industry had a future. <laughs> nerds rule, nerds rule, geeks rule, geeks rule, geeks rule, even though the world thinks we suck. We're going to bring back the 90s fun, fun, fun. I don't care what the world thinks of me, I couldn't give a hoot. All those Asperger sufferers, they shouldn't be calling them Asperger's. They should have the badge of their occupation and their lifestyle on their chest. They should have photocopier, technician, R&D lab assistant. They should have CEO of the copier industry. They should be CEO of Xerox. They should be CEO of Kanika Minolta. They should be CEO of Ryko. They should be CEO of Toshiba. Whatever. There are so many brands out there. But how many will be left? How many will be left? Because the copier industry is button and tie. Reprehense. Stiff. Stiff. 
Stiff little buggers in stiff little suits. Plastic smiles, but they're no more smiles. Plastic frowns and ugly faces. <laughs> that is what these people are like. They don't know how to make copy products that make the people happy. My friend Luigi Benedict, he's in love with me. He wants to build a self guided cyber copier. Bloody hell, he wanted to do it 20 years ago. I will blow raspberries at the industry if that's all we can do. I will take your hand, Luigi Benedict. We'll take you to that place called. Well, we've got to build our own copier industry now. We want to build a Silicon Valley. You won't let us in like you did in the 1990s. I remember you, Can in Australia. You were helping us out. You were giving us sponsorship. People were photocopying for the fun of it. We were the artists as well. But you won't give us a job, you won't give us a job, you're all so tight, 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 shit, my baby isn't crying because of my music. Turn that music down. Oh yes, the love would have been free for all of us. Damn it. Things gotta be alright. I don't, I don't know how loud this music is, but anyway. Doesn't matter, this is not polished pop production. Oh, that's what Luigi wanted to tell me. But 20 years we've lived in squalor. 20 years my friends are dying. Many of them are pulling cones. Smoking marijuana. <laughs> Let's design a copier system in our mind. And while we're pulling bong smoke. Bong smoke money is bong smoke. We want to make everyone happy. Come down in the 20th. 20 years later, photocopier art is dead almost, but then all the industry is falling apart. We have bloggers online saying whether they'll be photocopiers 10 years from now. Paperless offices come back. What a smelly, smelly thing. You know what? Everyone wants paper. You know they want books. How do I know this? I go out in the field. We need photocopiers still. We still have the online stuff. Yes, connectivity. But we've got to be a little bit more balanced, a bit more rational here. And I'll keep raving about it until something is done about it, until my friends are freed and get some kind of dignity. You know, they need to know that they can. we can build a Silicon Valley. So, people don't like us copier industrialists or toner heads. Well, you can, you can laugh, at our, laugh at my videos if you like. So I've been laughed at all my life anyway, so who gives a bleeding fig? So there you go. Bit of 90s treasure, hey? So i tell you one thing, guys. The nerds will inherit the copier world. But the one thing to say is that the customers do not like your copiers, not guys. You guys who run the copier industry now, you might be normal people preaching to normal people how good your copier products are. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. I don't just... I don't take any notice of Byers Lab or, or Bertle or any of those commercialised test facilities, you know what they are to me? They're artificial. Fake. I don't have much money or much status, but I don't own any hardware or software, but I'll tell you one thing, I've used that to great advantage because I go out in the field and use them. I've been using them for decades, for a couple of decades, and I'll tell you one thing, that means I see, I see customers using them in the field, right? I'm not talking stupid test facilities. With people who know about the business, I'm talking normal people. Those people that r actually run the industry, but strangely enough, they're your customers and you're actually, you're actually ruining their lives. I know, because I see. I read online blogs about people who care. Sorry, OEMs. Yes, Konica Minolta, I do believe you will be the best OEM, but I still, I still don't like your style, your new style that you've adopted. You were so good. You were so good to me, as I said in the 1993, 20 years ago. But I'm sorry. I really think the Japanese culture is a little. The Japanese do it better. 
um, because we need a little bit of Japanese philosophy in the industry. Sorry, Konica Minolta, but but don't worry. I'm sure someone with money will acquire you, because after all, that's the only thing that talks in the photocopier industry is money. Money talks. None of us tiny heads have much money except the ones who run the little tiny businesses called independents. The independents have flourished because of your fails. But I will say I love copiers and I care about the industry. But I can be a very harsh critic and I can also make, well, have a bit of fun at your expense anyway. After all, we don't have work. But, you know, we'll never get into your industry. So let me just tell you what I think of the copier industry. My analysis of the copier industry is, I'll just zoom back a little bit. I'll let you tell you what I think of the copier industry as we know it today. <laughs> <laughs> good morning to the world, but if I wish it was night time because then I could say good night. And when the light goes out in the copier industry, I will have a good giggle at your expense to say, I told you so.